Welcome to Book Chicks. Brand new channel. Oh yeah. My name's Jules, and this is Lily. And we are doing the Taylor Swift book tag. Even though we weren't tagged. But we just wanted to do it. Yes, yeah. we're special like that. Okay, so. The first song on the list is We Are Never Getting Back Together. Which is a book or series you thought you were in love with, but in the end you hated and you wanted to break up with. And mine would have to be Aragon by Christopher Paolini. I loved this series for the first three books and then the fourth one came along and it was terrible and I'm sad and I'm still crying on the inside about it and so we're never getting back together. Ever. Mine is Divergent by Veronica Roth, if you can see that. And the first book is completely amazing and then you get to the second one and it's just it's just not. It's, it's really bad. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. Just, just break up with it. It's no. gone now. The relationship mm -hmm. is over. The next is Red, which is kind of easy. You just have to pick a book with a red cover. So mine is Quest by Angie Sage because it's red, basically. And mine is Catching Fire by Suzanne Collins because it is red. It's yeah, all red, pretty much. Next book thingy on our list is The Best Day, for which you have to choose a book that makes you feel nostalgic. Mine is Big Sister and Little Sister. It's, it's, it's her age, it's ages four to eight, and my mom and my sister and I read it all the time. Loved it to death, and just makes me happy. Okay, and mine would have to be The Complete Wreck, or a series of unfortunate events by Lemony Snicket yep. because when I was like eight my sister and one of our best friends and I we loved the books and we read all of them and we would pretend to be the main characters and we'd like play bottle airs all the time so it makes me very nostalgic. Next is Love Story. For this one you have to choose a book that features forbidden love. Mine is The Host by Stephanie Meyer and if you've ever read this book, it has a very weird love tri triangle in it. Very confusing. Very forbidden. Yeah. Forbidden. <laughs> I guess you could explain it like that. And then for mine, I don't actually have this book with me, but The Selection by, I think, Kiera Class or Glass or something like that. <laughs> Anyways, that features some forbidden love, so I'm going to go with that. Next one is... I knew you were trouble. For this one, you have to choose a bad character you couldn't help but love. And for this one, we both went with Draco Malfoy from Harry Potter and the half Blood Prince. By whoever this is by. J.K. <laughs> J.K. Rowling. Yes. And Draco, I mean, he's one of those characters where he's really bad, but he's so funny. I love him. <laughs> He has character development, and yeah. For the next one, number six, the song Innocent by Taylor Swift. For this one, you have to choose a book where someone ruined the ending for you. I don't have this book with me again, but um, Clockwork Princess by Cassandra Clare. I haven't read it yet. I'm going to soon, but I kind of glimpsed lots of spoilers online for how the book ends, which is kind of depressing, but I'm still going to read it. Mine is Allegiant by Veronica Roth. I do not have it with me. I thought I did, but I do not. And I hadn't even finished the first one, and somebody ruined the ending of the last one for me. I was very, very upset. That actually happened to me too. <laughs> I think that's happened to a lot of people. Yeah. <laughs> it's a sad affliction. Next we have number seven, Everything Has Changed. That's one of my favorite Taylor Swift songs which you choose a character who goes through lots of character development. And for this one, I am going to go with Letting Anna Go by Anonymous, which is kind of about a girl and her slow decline as she develops an eating disorder. So lots and lots of character development in this one. And mine is Ender's Game by Orson Scott Card and this poor child this poor, poor child, poor, poor child has huge character development from the beginning of this book to the very last page. It's crazy. 
It's a very good book. Very good. Next up is Forever and Always. For this one, you choose your favorite book couple, which is a really hard choice for me, but I would have to go with um, Lily and James Potter from Harry Potter. This is the last one because they're just so cute and sad and they make me want to cry and yeah. Yeah, okay. And mine is Percy and Annabeth from The Last Olympian by Rick Riordan because just because they're adorable. They're 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 just adorable. <laughs> Can't really say more than that. Nope. And next is You Belong With Me, your most anticipated book release of the year. And we both decided to go with The Blood of Olympus by Rick Riordan because we were really, really, really looking forward to it. Yeah. <laughs> it's the last book in the series, uh, The Heroes of Olympus, and it's so good. It's so good. And we had to wait for it, for and a year. Oh, uh, uh, okay. <sighs> Anyways. <laughs> Next is Come Back, Be Here, a book that you would hesitate to lend out to anyone because you love it so much and you'd be scared of them losing it or wrecking it or something like that. Yes. Mine is all of these. Harry Potter. All of these. I lent them out to a friend once and I didn't get them back for a year and I'm never lending them out again. <laughs> it was very traumatizing. No. Um, mine would have to be my set of His Dark Materials uh, by Philip Pullman because it's such an amazing series and I love it so much and it's very dear to my heart and I would never give those books to anyone because I would be scared of not getting them back and they're very important to me. Next is Teardrops on My Guitar, a book that made you cry. And I am going to have to go with Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows because, um, well, I don't want to spoil it, but there are deaths in it that are very, very sad, and also it's the last book in the series, and this book made me cry. So. If you can't tell, we're obsessed with Harry Potter. Yes. <laughs> Potter heads. <laughs> Mine would be The Fault in Our Stars by John Green, and I'm sure most people have either read this book or watched the movie, and you understand why I cried. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We feel you. said. <laughs> And the twelfth and final thingy is <laughs> song. The twelfth and final song is Shake It Off, a book that you just love so much that you shake off the haters. Shake off the haters. Mine would be Magic by Angie Sage, which is the first book in the Septimus Heat series. And a lot of people do not like the first book in the series as much as all of the other ones. But I quite enjoyed it. I thought it was very good. And I love this book. mine would have to be The Red Pyramid and the rest of the books, The Kane Chronicles by Rick Riordan. Um, I love this book and this series, and a lot of people didn't seem to like them as much as his other books, but I really, really enjoyed them. So, they're yeah, they're really good. So I would have to say The Red Pyramid. And that brings us to the end. Woo. Yeah. Hope you liked our video. Yeah. Bye. Thanks. Bye. Oh gosh, that wasn't that bad. Woo.